Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, this is Captain Cowboy here with another video. Today we're going to be talking about the latest patch for Iron Throne, and that is the Iron Throne Iron Wall Defense Day event. So let's go ahead, take a look here, analyze this. What is this, what is this, what does this mean for us, and all that good jazz. So we have about 48 hours in this event left, and it is new PvP battle rules that are special for this event that they're testing out and see if they want to keep it around or throw it out. So they do have a survey, so I'll go ahead and talk about that later on. But this is basically how many troops can you kill or lose on defense and attack depending on your wall durability. So your wall durability, which is the health of your castle walls, determines how many troops you can lose or kill in a battle. So if I am defending a battle and I have 100% wall durability, only half of my total troops can be killed in one single march. If I'm on the attack end of that, and I also have 100% wall durability, only 30% of my troops can die. Only 30%. So there, it's 50% plus an extra 20% that is already current. So this can be impacted now when our wall durability drops. The lower your wall durability, the lower your revival rate would be so the le um, less troops can be saved in a single battle so we'll keep this in mind we'll go ahead i have done a couple of battles already with this so i'll go ahead and show you some reports and we can analyze this so right here i'm looking at a battle report against kill shot i attacked this man you can see here i lost no troops while on the other hand kill shot lost half of his troops so this is starting off with a pretty high wall durability in this march. So when we're taking a look, we'll scroll all the way down, take a look at his wall durability. Um, it's around 10,000 out of 15,000. I'm not a math major or anything, but I can tell you that that is an okay number. So he's about 70% right here with wall durability and my attack knocked him down an extra 10.8%. So on my hand, I had a 70% revival rate because my wall durability was 100% going into this battle. His wall durability being at 70% meant that he actually had a slightly less than 50% revival rate. So if we were to actually take a look at these numbers, we would notice that he had more troops injured and dead than he had survived. So it's a very slight impact, but it is an impact nonetheless. And also another thing we want to look at is that the time to reduce wall durability has been adjusted to be faster during a fire. So if you set your opponent's castle walls on fire and they do not extinguish that fire, their wall durability will decrease faster now. Here's my second battle report. And again, we are knocking him down by half, okay? So his wall durability now is 81.3. Um, my wall durability apparently was 81.2%, which is pretty inaccurate, but 70% 70 70 of my troops have been revived, even though I lost zero, so I didn't have to worry about that. On his side, he had slightly, again, about half of his troops died in this battle, because he had a 50% revival rate. So, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the rewards that we're going to be getting from this battle and then again we can also let's go ahead and compare this to a battle report prior to this update where in this march in one shot i was able to go ahead and kill all 31 million troops that warrior god here had so it is a completely huge change to the mechanic of the game the rewards that we're getting if we participate and try out this new mechanic are amazing we're getting resources we're getting speed ups and we're getting some Dark Lord material chests. The rewards are absolutely amazing. Um, my personal thoughts on this setup and this is that I don't like it. I don't want to have to hit this person numerous times in order to kill all their troops. Because I'm just dwindling them down slowly and it's going to take a lot of marches in order to kill all those troops. It is delaying the time that I can be utilizing to start clearing a person from resources so that is my thought on this event but i feel like a lot of our single type trap people 
are really going to enjoy this event because if they're playing on defense and they want to test out their defense, which a lot of my friends who are single type traps love doing, is they love just testing out their trap. It'll allow them to do that for a very low cost. But here's the best part. The developers are actually allowing us to submit our opinions on the matter in the mess uh, in the form of a survey. So go to the Iron Throne forum and submit your responses and you get even more rewards for doing so but please test this out before you start submitting anything because i want your honest opinions to be sent to the developers because i don't want you guys just saying something because you feel like getting a reward and then everyone else is suffering based on the new battle tactics so thank you all for watching if you enjoyed this video go ahead and hit Hit that subscribe button in the middle of your screen. And if you are interested in downloading and playing Iron Throne, go ahead and hit me up in the DMs. Any of the ways listed in the description of this video below. And I will set you up into the Iron Throne playtest. Thank you all for watching. This is Captain Cowboy.